Are things progressing as planned with the XRP lawsuit? The XRP community has been consumed by the security versus not a security debate for the last six months. The same has been a major point of contention in the ongoing legal struggle between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. According to attorney John E. Deaton, the government agency's argument that XRP is a security is quite ludicrous and hypocritical. Indeed, the SEC has repeatedly stated that XRP is distinct from other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. In terms of the case's status, the court dealt the agency two consecutive blows. The SEC is now required to reveal all of its cards regarding its internal trading practices. Deaton stated in response to the verdict. In the big scope of things, everything has been really fair, and the most recent verdict was precisely what needed to be. The SEC has been extremely reticent to disclose the policies that govern its officeholders' trading activities. This just serves to increase their suspicion. Additionally, Deaton stated. What is wrong, and why are we even fighting? Why, in a free democratic society, do we lack transparency? When you battle tooth and nail over little matters, you lose confidence. Indeed, the majority of members of the community concur. Deaton stated, emphasizing the importance of increased transparency. I'm curious as to whether the chairman is permitted to own Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, or another digital token. The SEC recently dismissed the premise that, as an agency, it played a role in market sentiment development. Additionally, it noted that Ripple's contention was absurd. Nevertheless, Deaton stated. To my mind, that is the most ludicrous thing the SEC could say. According to the attorney, the SEC's competitive attitude created another significant issue for the neighborhood. According to him, at times, winning at all costs is not the best course of action. Personally, I feel that the SEC's attorneys have become enmeshed in the war, the battle to defeat Ripple's amazing legal team. Additionally, the SEC is muddying the waters by focusing on two specific defendants, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse. After several years of investigation prior to initiating the action, the SEC discovered nothing tangible against the individual defendants, and according to Deaton, the SEC should have focused exclusively on the firm. Finally, he stated, They threw everything at it and went as broad as possible in order to inflict as much agony as possible in order to force Ripple to yield or agree to their terms of settlement, and I believe it backfired.